Okay, so there's a new threat on the creek property that has re-emerged. Um, we've dealt with this kind of in the past. I got some um, video footage I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Um, but we have a pack of crazy animals running on the creek property and uh, we don't know what to do. It gets, I hear those dogs. Do you hear them? Hurry up. What is that, Hope? In the trap, what is that? Hope, you didn't scare me. You startled me. I actually scared you. You startled no, me. I what, actually scared what you. What happened? What what'd you do? I snuck out of the truck and I threw a rock you thought from the tree and <laughs> I jumped out and I you went I went, you about to go down, girl. <laughs> so Hope's getting trickier as she gets older. A little little sneaker got me. Um but hey, we're out here at the creek property. We're gonna check cameras, we're gonna go pull SD cards. I wanna go really deep into the woods and get that one and see if we're getting action out there and check the Kool-Aid and all that. We have some rain coming in tonight. It's starting to sprinkle already in the next couple days. So we have some throw and grow we're gonna throw out in one spot. We've been working on a deer blind. I'll show you some of that. But what's going on out here, we've been dealing with this for months. I got some video footage um, from several months back, um, uh, back in the fall or back in, Back right before spring, before the leaves are start coming out, we have a pack of dogs that are roaming around the property all the time. So far on camera, I've counted at least eight different dogs. Um, I've got some pictures that I saved um, of several, I think four or five different dogs. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit, um, but we're gonna be keeping an eye out for that. And then we're gonna, we're gonna need some advice. Daniel's been dealing with this for the last couple months too. I think he got his under control. But the difference between ours and his, he found the owners, I think, to those dogs. I have no clue to where even start for the owners of these because there's literally like three people that live within like a five mile radius around here. Like it's not very populated whatsoever. And um, do pets, can pet dogs, can, if you had a pet, but then it goes off and just disappears, can it become a wild dog or is it always d domesticated? That's the issue we got here. There's literally a pack of dogs that run, roam around our property on the creek in the woods. Um, and it seems like as, as fall and winter comes, it's starting to get worse. Um, so I don't know, uh, or maybe it's always the same, but we just catch them more on camera. The more active we are out here, um, it's hard to say. I don't know where they're from or anything like that, but we're gonna keep an eye out for them. And I'm gonna show you that footage here in a little bit right now. We're gonna go check the cameras and I'll show you that deer blind too. You ready, Hope? Yeah. You ready to throw some throw and grow out? Yeah, I just did this. Super you, hard. Oh, hey, we'll, we'll run that a little bit too. We need to check the traps. Okay. Okay, that one's still set. That one's good. Let's go down below and see if that one's set off yet. I can't believe I actually <laughs> Yeah. Let's look at it. What is that? There's a lot of corn on the ground. I don't know if something's getting their the little raccoons getting their little paw in here and making it all fall. I don't think they can. But where'd you go? But they're not, they're definitely not eating it yet, are they? No. Hey, come check this out. We're I don't think again. you. Yeah, you're sneaky. I don't think you've seen the deer blind. Did it have those spray paint? Yeah, Hallie Hallie tagged it all up. Um, we just got to get some tin. Um, we built it. Um, we gotta get some tin to put up on the roof, and then I'm gonna get some spray insulation off Amazon. This, do it yourself, and I'm gonna spray insulate the whole inside. See that? What do you cool. think? Pretty How'd neat. How those designs get on there? We used leaves, and those patterns are leaves. Then Hallie put yee yee on the side. <laughs> I'll put this right in here. We put a window in the back just in case something sneaks up behind us i'm gonna make it where i could uh, um, open it and close it from the inside the door. right here bye come here i locked you <laughs> mm -hmm. so we got a window here but we'll have we have to do that too we'll put a wire on there or something we'll get it figured out um, but i'm gonna have this where i can close it at all times and just like emergency there's a deer back there but these two we'll put some sort of netting up here go ahead your head oh no I made it just tall enough where I can stand up in it. Look. Mm-hmm. So it's a five by five, six foot in the top. 
We should put like a string we can pull it and then tie it. Yeah, we will do something like that. This is gonna be one of our one of our mini deer blinds out here. Yeah. And the hangout spot. So these um the boards that we cut out, I'm actually gonna put on hinges and then I'll put a little hat latch on it. When we're not using it, we'll latch it up. So uh, hopefully nothing get in here like copper heads and rattlesnakes. Hey, watch out for snakes. You got your flip flops on today. Oh yeah. Sure we But that's the perfect size for the deer blind we want. It's going to be nice. Yeah. So once I can get it insulated, um, we can actually bring a little Mr. Heater out here and we can stay warmer in there. I wish I there. came with you guys to spray paint it. No, well, we're going to do several more so you'll get opportunity. Okay. Um, this is like the prototype of the first one and I really like it. We're probably going to do at least two more, possibly three. We should do one by the creek. Yeah, we should. So possibly three more, so four total. We'll just wait and see, um, one at a time. It's actually cheaper to build that than it is to buy one of those plastic ones. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna put some corn that I got left over from the other day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish filling this feeder up, and then we're gonna go check the cameras. It's cold. cold. Here you go. Because it just rained. Hey, what? keep an eye out for the dogs. Okay. You remember how to change the SD card? Yeah. Here, go swap that out. What? Okay. That one. You can show them. Where? Here. See right there? Look. Yeah. Doesn't it go like this or this? This. Look how you pull that. Oh, okay. Push this button. That. Wait, hold on. That. Put that right there. This. This is card error. Dad. What? This is card error. Push it, push it out, push it back in. Okay. It's good. <laughs> I dropped some on the ground and busted that bag open. Oh. They got a lot of corn on the ground now. Hey, there's a lot of spiders. You see a bunch of spiders down there. Green Day Long Legs. Yeah. Boys. Pretty full. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go check the other ones and then I'm gonna show you the guys the footage. Um I got some footage of Hallie tagging up. I'll show you some of that too. And then um, I'm gonna show you guys the wild pack of dogs what? we got out here. What happened? Don't I'm step on that, it'll hurt. Like yeah, I got this one little bag of throw and grow. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it out right here. So the deer can come. Yeah, so I had this is left over and there's rain coming, so it'll help. We're Wait. actually gonna do a food plot down below um, by the creek. I love when it rains. You should just dump all of it. Well, you gotta spread it so it'll grow in different spots. If you just dump it, it'll just grow in that one spot. You see how it does. But just before it grows, the deer come out and eat every single seed. They won't. They're too little. Now the mice might, but there's a bunch of corn over there, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh. A lot are gonna grow right there. There's still a lot left. Did I put it in right? Yeah. So we're gonna try to stay out of here. Once we put the tin up in the next few days, I don't plan on coming back to this spot for at least till we hunt the first time. Unless we come check cameras one other time, we'll see.
What's that? It's a little chipmunk. You see one? Yeah, it went across there. Put this in your pocket. Okay. Here. We can see how full this is with the window. <gasps> That's adorable. All right. Okay. Now what are we doing? We're going deep into the woods to check this other camera. What if I get ticks? We might. Okay, so we're like a mile back in. It's deep back in here. And um, we're going to walk up from this point. Oh, I can't drive back there yet. I still got fish mowing. We're going to walk up in there and check the camera and see what the corner and all that looks looking like. This is a deep spot. Hey, look, I'm going to see if there's anything on the hill. There's something. You see something? I, mean, I think it's just grass. <laughs> uh-huh. Here you go. Make sure there's no snakes. Oh, it's darn train. Let me see. I see. I see. Okay, I'll go change it out. Okay. Yes, that blue one. Okay. So. <gasps> Do they like it? I don't know. Something's been digging in it. But okay. it's only been about three days, so there's no telling. Something's found it, but nothing's like destroyed it yet. So it's good to come back here now. And I'm only, I probably won't check this spot for a while. But right now I can see the Kool-Aid because it got wet a little bit. And we'll check the camera. I'll show you if there's anything on it. I hope it's changing it out. You know, we'll get back on out of here. Bunch of ants. There is a lot of ants on the sugar for sure. It gets, I hear those dogs. Do you hear him? Hurry up. I literally just heard something growl. Is it working? Is it working? Yeah. Growling and barking up on that ridge. Did you hear it? Yes. That's what I'm saying. You just keep them all. That's, come on, hubby. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if this is just a pack of wild dogs now or what. I literally just heard some up on that ridge. Trust me, I'll take care of them if I need to, but that's really not what I'm wanting to do. And we don't want them messing up. We're, all this time we're spending getting ready for deer season, we don't want the dogs to come while we're hunting and just mess everything up, especially for the kids. Yeah, the yep. <laughs> we just don't want to be put in a situation where someone can get hurt, where the dogs can get hurt. trap is triggered. I don't see nothing in it yet. What is that, Hope? Water. In the trap, what is that? I can't see it. Is there anything? I don't know. Oh, it was a stick. What it? Ah. Uh, something set it off. Boy, cool. it stinks over here. Ugh. <laughs> Look at the feathers. There is feathers. Yeah, it's over here too. Look at that feather right there. Probably a vulture. Something's getting in there. So I found a squirrel. I stuck it in there. It was already deceased. It was dead. And um, I was trying to attract something. Something has set it off. It could be a bird. Pick up that feather right there. There's a lot. Look how he got stuck on that thorn. Like, there's a lot of feathers. 
Okay, it's reset. Okay. <sighs> I thought we had something in there at first. Yeah. Hey, test out your um, coyote call real quick. Okay. We left the call out here. Maybe we should grab it. Maybe we should get it since it's raining, but I'm sure it's waterproof. You testing it? Something's knocked it over. I'm not sure how much waterproof these are. Something knocked it over though. Have you put, are you put, it ain't going off yet, sis. Well, hold on. Oh, the batteries are about dead on it, dang it. It's red. It's, okay, come on. Come on. Put that, uh, hit pause. Okay, let's get over. So the battery's about dead on it. We're gonna take it back up talk and we're gonna talk to you guys. And if I got anything interesting, um, stay tuned till the end. If I got anything cool that I haven't showed you yet on these pictures, I'll show you guys at the end. And um, I, I don't know if I already showed you guys the dogs. Oh wait, we'll go up there and I'll talk about the dogs. We're missing a camera, we can't remember where we put it, so we're gonna go find it. I think. It's up on that same ridge. Let's go, let's go see if it's over there. Okay. What, where the dogs were? No, back over there. Oh. Trapped in here? No. It's about to close. It's fine. No. Hold on. Okay. Is there anything? I don't think so. No, there isn't. Nothing? No. Alright. There's ants in there. There is? Yeah. Okay, so we are missing a camera. I don't know what I did with it. It's it's somewhere. It might be in the truck or something. Yeah, something's been up there eating that. That's funny. So I guess darker way down here in this uh, river bottom that we're at. Um, bef before it does, like when we leave here, it'll be way lighter because all the trees, the canopies, and we're down here in the valley. Um, but yeah, let me show you the footage of the wild dogs. There is there is a great Pyrenees that we got walking across a creek a few months ago. I assume that one's not wild. But who knows at this point okay i don't know if you guys can see that or not but we have a couple animals coming up this way i'm not exactly sure what they are yet it's too too much weed down there you see that there's one on the creek oh there it is by the bikes I think it's a, what is that? Yeah, that one looks like a dog and there's a, looks like a, maybe a, a white Pyrenees down there. Let's see if we can get them up here. Is that a wolf? Is that a white wolf? Oh, it's running. It's running. What is that one? No telling where it came from. I just happened to look down there, and there's a big white one down there. It getting a little drink. Hope they don't find my crawdad trap. There goes the other one. I think it's gonna cross the creek down there. I'm glad I didn't bring Gabby, honestly, because Gabby would be chasing him down. It could be a fight going on. We're just taking a little stroll.
Okay, so you guys seen those dogs. Um, I have not, I've yet to see them while we're actually out here other than that one time I recorded it. Um, I've got tons of pictures of different dogs other than what I showed you. I think I deleted them off the SD card already. Um, I tried to save them up because I was gonna make a video showing you guys all these. Um, this has been since we bought the property. We've had trouble with these stray dogs. Um, and what's crazy about it is we do have a few neighbors, not very many at all. Like it's, it's a couple, like two, three here. And then I don't know where the next neighbor is for a long time. But the dogs that we are seeing here on this property, I never see them in the neighbor's yard, property, or anything like that. And you would think it was the neighbor's dogs, they would actually be out in their yard time to time when we come out here. Never seen one of them at one of the actual neighbor's house when we're driving in. Um, so it, maybe they're traveling from a long ways. I know Daniel said the dogs that were on his place were traveling a mile, a mile and a half away. It could be the case here, but they're- we do. I need to put some dog food out here and put a camera up on there. Yeah. But here's my situation. Tell me what you guys suggest. A dog will ruin a hunt like that. It's happened to me in the past. Um, and it's no fun, especially when you're waking up early, you got the kids with you, or even by yourself. It completely ruins a whole hunt. Especially, and what's irritating about it is it's when it's not even your own dog. Now, if it's your own dog, it's your own fault. But when the neighbors are allowing their dogs just to roam, especially during deer season, because I do know some people who would shoot the dogs on site. Um, I'm just saying that people do that, and that's something we do not want to do, but we don't know what to do as far as, how do you, what do you even do? That's the thing. Do we try to trap them in the live trap and then take them to a shelter? What do we do? Leave me some comments down below, because um, we want to do the right thing, and hopefully we don't have any any of that um we don't have any scenarios where a dog does come in or a pack of dogs come in while we're out here um but as much as we're seeing them it's probably going to happen especially when we have the youth camp and there's going to be a lot of us out here in different locations around the property i just have a feeling that someone's hunt's going to get ruined by these dogs and me and hope just heard them i um, heard some i don't know if it was one we got on camera or not but we just heard some up over the mountain over there here's the other half you found the other half yeah. so y'all give me some suggestions down below what do you guys What's your suggestions on these dogs? Because there is a couple of them. There one, there's a black one, the Great Pyrenees one. There's just some other little ones in there. Um, I haven't seen any collars on any of them. The Great Pyrenees was really far away, and I don't think people really put collars on Great Pyrenees anyways. Um, and those dogs, <coughs> those dogs are known to roam. So we're in a pickle just like Daniel was. Thankfully, Daniel got his taken care of. Hopefully, we can too um, before hunting season comes around. Um, as long as they're not bothering us we don't even know they're out here if that's you know if we didn't have cameras out here um i may not even know that they were out here except for the time that we seen them right here when i was out here doing this right now doing what i'm doing now sitting up here just looking over the thing but yeah so yeah that's what we got going on hope are you excited for this year's deer season yeah you look tired Did you have a hard day at school today no not too bad okay so you are excited for deer season yeah so it's it's awesome that the girls are into checking the cameras with me putting the corn out and um, all that stuff getting things ready helping me get things ready for their youth season coming up in the next several weeks and um, yeah who's gonna get the biggest deer this year <laughs> you are yeah. all right yeah so let me some comments down below if you have any suggestions that are realistic that we can do to um, kind of take care of this problem and um, we'll kind of just go from there and hopefully we don't have any big issues with them this year but we'll see a new dog um, we did, I thought the vultures moved um, that carcass. It was like a pit it was, bull. It was like a pit bull or a basset hound or something. I was some kind of some kind of hound dog or something in the background that I caught when I was editing. So I believe the vultures ate on it, ate on it, ate on it, and then the dog came in and got it. Like um, bones? Yep, and I haven't seen that dog on camera before until now. Um, so yeah, these dogs are just coming from everywhere. It's crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. What should they do, Hope? Smash the like button, please subscribe. That's right. See ya. Bye.